Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be uh, an episode on how to launch missiles. Um, if you didn't see already, go and check out how to make this fission reactor. This will help you along to making the sort of the missile launcher itself with huge amounts of power and a quick quick space of time. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, if I just fix all this back up uh, by adding all this back on, that they'll start spinning in a second. Okay, so what you want to make your rocket is you want a launcher control panel actually I'll go through it up here in too many items right then so if you type in missile it gives you all these missiles you can choose from so I'm just gonna use in this, uh, let's just use one of these missiles basically what these do these set everything on fire as you can see in the name so other things you want you can probably guess most of this if you put launcher it will show you all the launcher pads so basically you have a launcher platform tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 it's the same for all these as well I'm going to use tier 3 because uh, it's more precise that's what it does and um, you don't have to use them you can use 1's and 2's it's got different recipes for making them so as you got your tier 3 stuff you need these three basic equipment platform support frame and control panel so I've got the uh, control panel down there already and it's filled up with power so then what you need is to put this launch platform directly behind it or that directly in front like that and then behind it you want the support frame this just holds the rocket in place like that okay so add to, ro add, to add your rocket you just right click on the base and it add it in there already or you can just right click on it with no missile and simply drag it and put it in like that so there we go that is the rocket fully loaded okay so to actually launch your missile you can either use a radar gun it's alright it's in a space of like 20 blocks so it's completely random where it goes uh, a radius of that but what I like to use is a designator up here and what this is is extremely precise and also it gives sort of a green beam in the sky where it's gonna land so um, sorry if that's a bit noisy uh, that's the reactor going on so basically what you want to do is um, is it says if you just right click and straight away frequency must be greater than zero it's not set so what you want to do is right click on it and here is the frequency this is if you've got lots of rockets on your server or near you you put your own frequency so you can have whatever you want so I'm just going to put 20 or something like that so there we go um, the rocket does keep disappearing that's just a bug or glitches and stuff like that so don't worry about that so then just right click on it laser designator frequency set to 20 ok right now I'm going to turn up my render sister there we go like that and I'll show you what to do so it's been set for 20 and if I just put it let's say I'll show you how accurate it is if I put it on the top of this tree like that it's called an airstrike big green beam uh, airstrike designated there you go that is the rocket there we go, and it's scenery, it will set fire. There you go. So as you can see it was sort of about a three block off, three blocks off it, so that was pretty good for um what it normally handles. So there's loads of different missiles you can use. I'll just quickly run through them and all of them work with this. Um there we go, if you just type back in missile all of these, the green is sort of the uh, less destructive ones, and the red and the blue, and then the black is the uh, sort of the really big ones. Um, so there's like nuclear, hypersonic is quite a good one if you want to use hypersonic. Once again, to reload, you just leave it, everything like that, and you click on you click on the little base thing. You just get in there like that, and you right click. Basically, if you don't have a nuclear fusion reactor or not strong enough power, you got to wait for it, and it will say ready to launch. So once again, you just click on that to set the frequency and choose where you want to put it. So I'm just going to put it there. I'll show it taken off this time. There you go. So we're going to follow this. There you go. That's another type of rocket. So all of these rockets are really, really good for whatever you want to try and do. Um, so you can experiment and have fun like that so that's how you build your rocket base like that and with the power like I said if you missed that video on how to make the power itself go and check that out um, so yeah 
I hope you enjoyed this video and now you can make your own rockets and bomb your friends. So thank you for watching and bye. Hello everyone, this is Ambient Pig and in this episode I will be showing you how to make a fission reactor. If you're not sure what fission reactors are, they make a lot of power in a short space of time. They are a source of nuclear power so they need to be stable and I will show you how to do that. 